Quantify bit quantify rapid count is a utility to dramatically reduce the amount of time spent counting items on a drawing. Any item or assembly can be used with rapid count. I'm going to open up one of our quick item pads here and take a look at these plugs, for example. So you can simply select the item, whether it's an item or assembly that you want to activate rapid count on. It opens up as it normally does in takeoff, but you see a button here to activate rapid count mode. So first I'm going to fill out the attributes here, and then I'm going to select rapid count and we will switch into rapid count mode. And then I'm going to zoom in on the symbol that I want to count. You can select this, uh, tighten it up, get it uh, closely bounding the symbol that you want to count, and then press commit. There is the replace overlapping counts, which we'll cover in a moment here. Once you press submit, you'll see on the left hand side, it is going to go through and search the drawing. And this reports back to you what the system is doing as it's going. You can queue up other counts as it's going through there uh, for different unique items. And once it's finished, you'll get the refresh button there. Pressing refresh reloads the drawing with the new counts added and loads up the audit trail here to show you what's been added. I'm going to go ahead and minimize some of these panels here just so that I can see more of the drawing. And take a look and see yep okay so there's a, a couple of plugs here that are missed so i'm going to go ahead and select another one of these and it already remembers my attributes from the last time i'm going to select rapid count again and i'm going to zoom in and select another one of these that it had missed this is where the replace overlapping counts kicks in Basically what it's going to do is if it finds a plug that has already been counted, it's not going to count it again. So I can hit commit here and it's going to again start processing the drawing. And you'll see it searching the image here and as it uh, finds new things, it will fill in the status over here. While it's doing that, I'm going to go over here and add in some junction boxes and get it to count those. Simply zoom in on it, get the, the pattern fairly close and hit commit. And you'll see here that uh, while one is running, oh, it finished already. I'm going to hit refresh. It's already queued up the next one. And now it's picked up the vast majority of the plugs on this project. Certain things it will struggle with. So for example, these two plugs up here, these are fairly unique uh, in the way that it looks. It's not able to match that up exactly, but I can very quickly just go add those in now. So I'll just take those off as a normal count. And then refresh the drawing here with the junction boxes. And they're now all counted in also. Now these waterproof GFI plugs. So one thing, a best process is to count all of the kind of stock units, the ones that are most common on the drawing first, and then start to select the ones that are special items. So for example, these GFIs. So I'm going to take a GFI here. But what I'm going to do is highlight the tag that says GFI. And what's going to happen here, because we have replace overlapping counts turned on, it's going to go in anywhere where this tag overlaps one of the existing plugs that was counted earlier, it's going to replace it with the GFI plug. So I'm going to hit commit, and it's going to start going through the drawing and doing that. Now, a limitation is it has to overlap. So this one here will not likely be found. Uh, however, down here, for example, this one may be found and this one might not be, but we'll take a look. So yep, as, uh, as I thought, this one here was not picked up, so it is double counted now, but it's as simple as selecting that and hitting delete. And you'll see it automatically reduces the count in your audit trail. 
So if I take another look, it did properly figure out this one. Down here, delete that one. And I'll delete that one there. And that one. And there we go. We have our plugs counted on this drawing. Except I think I saw down here uh, one more that was missed so we'll just quickly go ahead and add that in switching over to lights it's a exactly the same process uh, we'll pick one that is fairly clean here background doesn't matter as much the system removes uh, the background so any of this lighter uh, gray information here the system will attempt to remove that before uh, performing the search uh, so if we switch over to light fixtures, I'm going to grab a light fixture here. I'm going to make it a four lamp, and this will be the FR1. I can then select the fixture here, putting a fairly tight boundary around it, and hit commit. The text can sometimes uh, be an issue, so you can experiment um, going back and forth uh, whether you include the text or not. I'll take a look at these FS2s also. So I'll make these a two lamp, call these FS2. And in this case, I'm gonna demonstrate simply highlighting that unique widget because I know all of the FS2s are tagged that way. And hit commit. Now you don't have to wait for the refresh to come up here. Uh, you can simply refresh the drawing by clicking on it again in the drawings list. And you'll see here, it has captured the vast majority of the FR1s. There's one here that it missed. So I'll quickly go add that in. And then I'll refresh the drawing and see that, yep, it's picked up the FS2s also. So now that that's complete, there is a, a fair amount, the vast majority of the lighting um, taken off very, very quickly. And all of this again is added into the summary screen where you'll see your tag lists coming out in here. So if I sort by description, very quickly, you can find your tag lists and your items loaded right in. And that is an intro to the rapid count feature.